as I address you this morning, at We Are Africa. Africa's hottest tourism gathering where high-end African travel brands are meeting with most of the world-class buyers and international media. I also take pride in noting that under my leadership as Minister of Tourism, Zimbabwe was invited to participate at this special gathering for the first time ever since its inception. Ladies and gentlemen, I believe there's never been an opportune time for Zimbabwe than this moment, given the preceding developments that brought in the new political dispensation in Zimbabwe, which we are all proud of. My address today is inspired by the vision of my principal, the President of the Republic of Zimbabwe, His Excellency Comrade Mnangagwa, through his wise leadership of opening Zimbabwe for business. And indeed, ladies and gentlemen, Zimbabwe is open for business. The sub-theme of this event, Arise, the rebirth of Zimbabwe, is in complete sync with Zimbabwe's new era. The new era signals the rebirth of Zimbabwe. And indeed, Zimbabwe has been born again. Corruption has become the order of the day in both the public and private sectors. The president is ruthlessly fighting to end this cancerous disease from spreading the numerous police blocks, which we know were annoying and inhibiting smooth travel for both the tourists and indeed the local Zimbabweans have been dealt with. There are no more police roadblocks. <laughs> which had turned Zimbabwe into a police state. A lot of reforms to facilitate ease of doing business are currently being implemented in Zimbabwe. Colleagues, ladies and gentlemen, Zimbabwe has already started putting in place a true one-stop investment shop whose focus is to facilitate investors in both the special and non-special economic zones. This authority, whose legislation is already underway, will be known as the Zimbabwe Investment and Development Authority. This dawn of a new era has ushered in a collaborative relationship, which has created a conducive environment for you, our colleagues, in business. I want to thank you all for the support you have given to tourism in Zimbabwe. During the first quarter of this year, statistics revealed that tourism arrivals have grown by over 48% compared to the same period last year. <laughs> Projections into the second and third quarters of the year, especially in the Victoria Falls, is our tourism capital and Zimbabwe is a tourism destination is under hotels. We need to seriously address the issue of hotel infrastructure. <laughs>